Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and tutorials, how to's. I hope you love it. Please subscribe if you have not already because I do a whole bunch of different kinds of videos here, but all of them are related to Sailor Moon. So I'm pretty excited about today's video because I got a whole series of phone cases from The Hood to share with you. Now, a couple of these were sent over for review, those two right here. And the rest of them are ones that I had purchased for my two different main phones. Yes, I have two different main phones. It's because I'm a tech reviewer and I have a full YouTube channel dedicated to tech reviews and tutorials about technology. So I have two phones. One of them is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So a lot of these cases are for an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I also have a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and I have cases for those as well. So this is a review of the cases and I will also give you some information about The Hood, which is the website that these came from. So all of the cases that you see in front of you here range from about $28 up to about $50. So I will go through each of them and let you know the prices as well as I put links below down in the description so you can easily find them. So I will go ahead and start with the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So this is the first case that I wanted to show you. I currently do have it on my Ultra. This is called the Sailor Moon Galaxy S21 Ultra UT case in white, and it costs about $40. The reason why it's listed in white is because it has a white border. However, there is a black one as well. So this one's cool because it has a really pretty gradient color scheme. And it also has this awesome print of Sailor Moon. And if I hold it up closely, you'll see how very defined this coloring is. And it looks really, really nice. It looks really bright. It also has a little bit of a logo down at the bottom. It says gold by the hood. And you can see the original color of the phone through this case. And that's one of the reasons why I really liked it is because I wanted to show off the color of the phone. The side buttons are very, very easy to access. They're very easy to click. Sometimes you get cases and the buttons are harder to click down and these ones are not so I don't have to use my nails which is nice and all of the ports down at the bottom are easily accessible. Now the question is how easy is this to get on and off your phone because sometimes cases can be really tough especially if they're made out of specific materials. So that one was really easy to take off and it's also fairly flexible as you can see. This one says it has a little drop test of 10 feet so if I drop tested this up to 10 feet it should be okay. All right moving on I will show you the multi multi-character case. Now all of their cases come in these really cute packaging. This one for example has that Sailor Moon label in the background and it says Sailor Moon. You can tell that it is a licensed product because it has that Toei animation sticker right at the top. Yay! We also have a really pretty print of Sailor Moon on the back of the case. So the hood creates cases in Hong Kong, so it does take a little bit of time to get them shipped over to the US, but they do ship internationally, so you can purchase even if you're not in Hong Kong. They do a bunch of licensed collaborations. They have some with Disney, they have the Sailor Moon ones, obviously, and then they have their own prints as well. So this one is called the Multi-Character Galaxy S21 UT case in white. I got this one in white border as well. This one is also supposed to have that 10 foot drop protection so it should be protected up to 10 feet and that's really cool. I really like the kind of metallic shine that you see with the different Sailor Senshi and I love this lace pattern. I think that looks really pretty on the Galaxy S21 Ultra, especially when it hits the sunlight. Very, very pretty. This one is also really easy to press down on the buttons. Again, it's very easy to access all of your buttons on the side. And how easy is it to take off? Well, it's really flexible, so it's super, super simple to take off of the phone. So this is one of the ones that The Hood sent me over for review. Again, you have the licensed sticker. We have a very pretty picture of the entire group of Sailor Senshi from Sailor Moon Crystal. That's very cool. And this one is actually for the iPhone 12 mini. So I requested this one because I recently gave my friend the iPhone 12 mini that I had purchased for a review. Her favorite Sailor Senshi is Sailor Saturn. So I wanted to get her this cute Sailor Saturn case for her phone. Take out that piece of paper. Okay, so this one is called a Hybrid Case 2.0. So this is a $30 case and it features Sailor Saturn and a bunch of gold foil. 
This is the iPhone 12 mini hybrid case 2.0 in black. So this one is pretty cool because it has the plastic back and it's quite firm. It's not flexible or anything. And then it also has this interior piece that fits around the phone and adds additional protection. So this one is cool because you can take out these buttons that are built into it if you don't feel like using the buttons on here and you just wanna use the buttons on your phone. You can do the same thing with the power button right there. It just says the hood right there, just a teeny tiny logo, and then it fits into your phone like so. Now, as far as the print is concerned, it's very pretty. I love the gold foil. I think that's a really, really pretty artistic design. This one looks like it's more just printed straight onto the case. There's no see-through parts or anything like that. It's just strictly back printed. So it's not as intriguing or detailed as this one on the S21 case. It's also not like this one where there's a gradient in the color, but this one is just a, a very simple print. So I don't have an iPhone 12 mini here with me to put this on, uh, but I am gonna be gifting this to my friend over the weekend, so I'm super excited to give it to her. Okay, so you may see a slight change in the set design here because I put down my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which I was recording this video on, and I traded it out with my S21 Ultra so that I can show you these three cases. So of these, The Hood sent me this one to check out and review on the channel. And then these two I had purchased myself. So as for pricing goes, first I will show you this one. This is the Neo Queen Serenity Gold Edition iPhone 12 Pro Max Golden Case. This one has a really pretty glittery sheen to it. It's very cool. And this one costs $50 USD, just about. This one is called the Sailor Moon iPhone 12 Pro Glitter Case Bling Bling Silver. That's the color of the glitter inside of there. And this one is $28. Surprisingly, this one is one of the cheapest ones. And then we have this one, which is $40. This is the multi-character case iPhone 12 Pro Max Ultra Tough. Although really, all of them are pretty ultra tough. So I'll start with this one since I already have it on my phone. So as you can see, it doesn't give you a lot of a buffer between the screen and the edges. So it's not highly protective on the front of the screen. I would recommend a screen cover, like I have a glass screen protector on my phone here. This one is cool because there's glitter inside of the case. So it does make your phone a little bit thicker as far as front to back. There is a bit of extra thickness in the back and that's what's holding all the water in there. But I love the glitter transitions. It is so pretty to look at. I love the color. I love the lace and the doilies and the colors of the printed piece of this case. And I also love that the see-through part has this pink color to it, just like Sailor Moon's Fuku bow, because it totally matches the actual Fuku bow. It's a little bit darker because my phone is darker and you can see that kind of through that opaque transparency, but it's still so pretty. Look at that glitter go. It's awesome. On this one, the buttons are a little bit harder to press down, especially the volume buttons. I oftentimes feel like I have to press those down with my nail and the side slider is a little bit harder to press as well since it's kind of inset inside the case. But the bottom ports are really easy to access, so no issues there. Now I'm gonna attempt to take this off because it's a, it's a pretty firm case. It's not going anywhere, that's for sure. Okay, so here's the inside of the case. So you can kind of see how the glitter is formed in there. Um, it's definitely thick and it feels very, very firm. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break or get brittle on me, which is very nice since that's a fluid. However, this is a water resistant phone, so I'm not too worried about it. But you can see that this is silver glitter, but on this side, it looks like the glitter is kind of a pinkish color. I really like this case. I think it's one of my favorites. And then we have this one, which I also purchased. So this is the Princess Serenity Tough Case. This one features kind of a ribbed texture on the inside around the edges, and that's supposed to help with shock resistance. So if you dropped your phone, it's supposed to protect your phone a little bit better with that. I like this one because it has this foil gold print, and I thought that was very, very pretty. It also has this really cool gradient color from blue to pink in the background, and Princess Serenity is printed so prettily. Prettily? Prettily. Prettily. Princess Serenity is printed so very pretty on here. I think she looks gorgeous. So when I put this one on my phone, there we go. 
Uh, definitely pretty easy to press the side button on here, along with the volume buttons. The slider is pretty inset into the case, so it's a little harder to get at. And again, there's not a huge bump going on on the edges of the screen, so definitely put a screen protector on your phone. Okay, and we're almost done. Now we have the last one. Again, this one is also 10 feet drop tested as well as the other ones too. So this is the last case that I wanted to show you today on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. This one is very similar to the Sailor Saturn one in the sense that it is printed strictly on the back. It's just a simple printing and there's no see-through parts. There's no gold foil or anything going on there, but it is a very accurate print as far as the color accuracy, and it also looks very clear, so I was really happy with the printing. This one is also white on the sides, however, I think you can choose different colors for this one too. Putting this one on the phone is quite simple. It's a little tough, a little tough to get on there. But as you can see, when this is on my phone, this is probably the thinnest of these three cases as far as how wide it makes your phone. So this one is very thin. It feels very natural in my hands, almost as if my phone is naked. So I really like how thin it is. It doesn't give you a lot of protection as far as the back lenses go for your camera. So be careful with those. And also not a very big lip around the display. So again, probably want to get some kind of display protection. There's also lens protectors you can get uh, from Whitestone dome. They make really good ones, so highly recommend those. Buttons are not super firm, so it's really easy to press those down and access your phone. Uh, this is set into the case pretty far, so again I have to use a nail to be able to hit the slider, and the ports on the bottom are all very easy to access. All in all, I think this is a really, really solid case, and I love how it doesn't add a bunch of bulkiness to your phone. So those are all of my Sailor Moon cases from The Hood. So I do want to thank The Hood for sending over two of these cases. I think they are absolutely beautiful, and I am now a fan. I do wish that The Hood made cases for other phones, like Pixels. That would be really cool. And I do wish that the Android phones had more of a diverse option as far as which cases are available. For example, the glitter case is not available for the Samsung S21 Ultra, and I would love to put something like this on my S21 Ultra. Androids, as usual, we get the really short end of the stick when it comes to really adorable cases. If you have any questions about the Hood cases, I will drop the links down below so you can find these directly. Uh, they do have cases for all the different iPhones, not just iPhone 12 Pro Max or 12 mini. Uh, they do have cases for a bunch of the different Samsung Galaxies as well. So definitely check out their site if you are interested. I will be purchasing more of these in the future whenever I get new phones as well, but I think I should stop at like having five different cases for a while and not purchase any more because I feel like that's that's getting a little bit excessive. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, all those good things, and thank you again so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it, and I hope you are liking the Sailor Senshi News Network updates. Those are going to be daily videos or as often as we actually get news out of the Sailor Moon fandom, so it probably won't happen every day, especially not the weekends, because I don't work weekends, but I do intend to put those up as often as possible. Again, I am Sailor Snows, and I will see you next time. Jenny.